Hey ladies, coming to you from my camper, which is in my yard. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, Catherine asked us to make a video about what we think God is speaking to us. And I believe God is doing a great move. And it just comforts me. It just comforts me so much. Um, I took notes because I'm not one to... Um, you know, speak off the top of my head. I forget things. So I took some notes here, but um, I believe this is a time for us to really trust God. And when we lay hold of his promises and we believe them, which is a really big part of it, you got to believe them, then um, we obtain his peace. And that's what I have been doing. Uh, Psalm 31, um, 14 through 15 is you are my God my times are in your hands I read that one a lot I say that a lot um, and uh, if you look around and you keep your eyes open you can see God answering our prayers I don't know about you guys but I have been praying for a very long time about our world and the kind of world that we were leaving to um, our children uh, it just made me sad and um, I believe God's answering those prayers um, there has been such division in our country politically and spiritually there's been such a great spirit of offense that has just gone rampant and God is being removed from our surroundings giving Satan the opportunity to move right into these places um, we live in a time with like such perversion and a lack of discipline, which has become socially acceptable. I believe God is bringing stillness to this world for a great reason, a higher purpose, and to bring us back to center, which is him. Um, those things give me comfort. Um, I'm using this time to step out big on social media to bring God's comforting word, his promises, to believers, to those who are on the fence, and even to unbelievers, asking the Holy Spirit to water and grow the seed that's set. I also believe that um, it's put on my heart all the time to repent, and that this is a time for us to repent for ourselves and to intercede for the world. This will allow Father God to do a great sanctification in us, through us, and in our land. Um, and I'll leave you with Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Love that. Stay healthy. Love you guys. Miss you guys too.